ladies and gentlemen, and you already know what time it is. That make me crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Does that yeah. make me crazy, ladies and gentlemen? A segment where me and Sean get to go and tell you guys something that may seem like it makes sense to us, but to you, it may seem a tad bit crazy. But we love it anyway. So, Sean, what is your first, does that make me crazy? Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I got I to gotta give respect where respect is due. And I, I got to show love to those of us that have suffered. My baby, my dear Catherine Hughes, she has suffered from some time, some years, being a Detroit Lions fan. They've had two, two beams of joy in Megatron and Barry Sanders, and they also had a glimmer in Mr. Matt Stafford. Mr. Matt Stafford couldn't overcome the Detroit Lions, but he was blessed when one day he was traded over to the Rams, proving that the race is not given to the Swift, nor the battle to the strong, but to those who adore the Detroit Lions, all right? And my baby said a year ago that he will take his new team. She said, mark her word. She will take, he will take his new team to the Super Bowl, and I agree with her. The Rams will go to the Super Bowl. Does that make me crazy? That make me crazy! Matthew Stafford, let's go. Super Bowl, Super Bowl. Let's get it, yeah, buddy. <laughs> so the Bucks not going to the Super Bowl. The, the Green Bay Packers not going to the Super. Bowl. Oh, it's going to be the Rams. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. think that you need to go ahead and um, stop doing what you're doing, John. I don't know what you're doing on the side. I don't know what you got on the side of that screen over there, but don't take it, buddy. Do not take it because I think you're losing your mind. No, sir. You're losing your mind. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sean's first, does that make me crazy? Uh, it, it was crazy. But mine is a little bit on the reasonable side. You guys may agree with me. Does that make me crazy that I think that a team that people did not believe in at first, but – now we're starting to believe after they just had this wonderful dynamic week they just had against a hot Bill Belichick team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there is a team, Sean, realistically, that is going to show up to the playoffs and possibly, I mean, to the Super Bowl and possibly win. Them Bills are hot, ladies and okay. gentlemen. And I think that not only if they get to the Super Bowl, if they get to the Super Bowl, they will win the Super Bowl. What? That makes me crazy. <laughs> you heard it. You heard it. I said it. If the Bills get to that game, they will win that game. I said it. Clearly, Janae, you have a little bit of what I'm having, okay? <laughs> oh, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Let's go. All right, let's, let's do this go. thing. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. So, yo, I got, I got uh, one more for you, and uh, and this one, I, I'm gonna shout out uh, my home girl, uh, Miss Kate Alverson. Okay, but not in the way that you think, Kate. Not in the way you think. No, we are not talking about the goat. We are actually talking about a young, up and coming quarterback that you love. Your man Joey B, ladies and gentlemen, has been Joey falling B. out out of control. He is the most sacked quarterback, and he is also top five in passing. This man has rejuvenated the Cincinnati Bengals, and he has brought them to the divisional round of the playoffs. Well, in the in in the uh, in the uh, Webster Dictionary, it says MVP is the most valuable player on the team, one that lifts his team above their normal expectations and gives them a chance to go higher. He's going to lift them higher, ladies and gentlemen, because he is the NFL MVP, Mr. Joe Burrow. Does that make me crazy? That make me crazy! <laughs> wow! Yeah. Yes, sir. Let's go. Joe Joey Burrow B, baby. is going to be the MVP. Yes, sir. Let's go. Whoa. Yeah. Wow.
Wow, I'm just shocked. I'm we shocked. We still out here. Look, we still out here. <laughs> you pick up the jewel from my mouth. Wow. Wow. Okay, Sean, I see where you're going with this. But I do have something that make make me sound a little bit crazy. There are two quarterbacks that have been in the league for a while. And both of these quarterbacks are super hot. I mean, we got Tom Brady on one side who is 44 years old, getting ready to go and try to make it to another Super Bowl. We got another quarterback in Aaron Rodgers coming off of dynamic MVP season, but couldn't quite get over the top. Sean, I got to say it, but does that make me crazy that I don't think either one of these teams are going to make it to the Super Bowl? What? That make me crazy. I can't believe I said it. I can't believe I said it. None of those teams are going to make it. Green Bay won't make it, and either will the Buccaneers make it to the Super Bowl. What? Hold up. I got to go back to the videotape and rewatch that. Did you say that? I said that. Wow. I said that, Sean. I said I, there is a sleeper team that I think is coming for them, but I just want, I'm going to keep it to myself. I think there is a sleeper team out of the teams that are left. If you could think about the NFC teams, I think there's a sleeper team in there that's going to take them out, and we will not. In the so look, so so Nathan does not agree with you, Rogers versus Brady. <laughs> Clearly, he, he does not. Agree. Packers and the Rams. Okay, look, look. <laughs> Wendy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We just we talked about those two teams so much on this high pedestal. And it would be such a beautiful situation if they both did not get to go to the Super Get out of here. <laughs> I may be a little crazy. I may be a little crazy. <laughs> Just a little, let's go. Yo, we 